Uncle James. Yeah. Is it true? It's what true? Bit of a different route this this AM Sunday, March 28th, 2021. Did you look at that? The year is just melting away, as does time. I don't even look at years. I've got plans for them, as we all should. Let me know down below what your plans are for the future. But I live my day day to day. You know, you wake up, and when you start living purposefully, or in stride, and networking, and just doing what you can for not others first, yourself first in an unselfish, selfless way. But anyway, welcome to episode 13 of What the Bitcoin. My name is Joshua. I'm joined today with Jim. Jim. Hey, Jim, what do you think of Bitcoin? Uh, what? Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Uh, it's some uh, game, expensive game. Okay. That some smart people have figured out how to play. <laughs> and another, uh, another uh, pathway. Avenue of life, potentially. Avenue of uh, money making. Or a side of a coin, per yeah. chance, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do you think the future looks like for society with Bitcoin? Oh, I don't really care. You don't, don't care? I don't care about the Bitcoin. There'll be rich people that'll be fighting over it. Yeah, so do you think there's any chance that Bitcoin and, and what it's doing to society is influenced by God in any way? Oh, well, eventually, you know, there'll be one world current currency. Mm -hmm. I believe that, whether Bitcoin's that or whether the U.S. dollar is that. Yeah. Well, so U.S. dollar has already played a role in as that. Okay. You know, for 20, 30 years, since World War II. Yeah, around the world. The U.S. dollar has been the standard. It has. So it maybe that already meets God's uh, requirement. You've got to get China and uh, Russia to fall back into yeah into the fold okay you know american economy has a uh, usually bounced back to the chagrin of the competitors that want to put in an alternate monetary system yes so i'm thinking uh, the u.s dollar might yeah you know, might come back and be the leader for the one world currency do you think anyone's in other than you know who we're speaking of which is god right yeah who do you think is do you think it's a group of people that are putting this together to have it happen in god's name or do you think it's just happening on its own oh, we're just not doing it in god's name yeah no it's just happening in well just happening is not the right word please what would you how would you allude to it jim you know it really is the times like these guys that i wonder if the person that took this bite and then dropped a donut was like sad they weren't invested in bitcoin or maybe they like sparked interest in being vested in the Bitcoin. Who knows? Stay tuned. It's gotta to put together. Yeah. Okay, things are falling into place. Yeah. Um, and so it's exciting to see it. Yes. It's, uh, I'm old enough where I don't care about the, uh, like the world economies, which way they're going. Yeah. Except that it impacts all of our futures. That's a big thing. It is. And uh, it impacts the world economies and the world governments. Yeah. And uh, and it might, it's already impacting in lots of parts of the world. Uh, uh, Christians being thrown out, trampled underfoot, butchered, especially Africa again. You know, current in the current uh, current state of let's beat up the Christians. The yes. U.S. just beats them up. Right now, it's figuratively. Yes. And. Uh, setting rules trying to uh, uh, undermine Christianity. Yes. Because they like freedom to sin. They just like freedom to do what they want. Yeah. And uh, Christians say, there is a morality. There well, is a law. And there's a level of asking for that choice, right? It's nice to be able to, hey, allow me to know what my choice was. The, Write me with wrath or, or uh, riddle with me with joy and smiles, but uh, at least still give me that choice, God, because that's what allows me to feel alive, right, Jim? Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that with it coming to that one monetary currency, the, the establishment, what brings me to go around asking people, Jim, is exactly that, is that this potentiality of us being able to make eye contact and share a nice, lightful conversation moving forward, that might become impeded to some degree. Oh, yeah. There's enough uh, Big Brother... Uh, eye in the sky, even from the in from the private standpoint, Google and Facebook and everybody else, 
that has uh, got all their sensors built into everything you've got. By the time you get back home, you'll see three ads for Bitcoins. Yeah. You know, if you talk about it, yeah. You know, You're not wrong. I know. It's an interesting world. When do you think the vast majority of people will wake up to there's something larger happening here than just monetary switches and large fathoms? Well, since I'm a Christian, yes, I know which way prophecy has said where it's going to wind up. Yes. More and more people will be deceived. So you can think that Bitcoin is people are going to finally realize that that's just a game uh, played by some very, very rich people. Whatever in, and then even if it's a bearish market, they can still extrapolate their 2% to make their extra million for that day, and then they can hibernate for two weeks. So to, uh, let's see, to answer your question, Yes. when will people start to wake up? Well, I don't think people will. I think the vast majority will be pulled in to uh, that erroneous thinking. Yes. Okay, and that there are some governments that will are being established and that yes. do not have uh, God's desires at heart. Yes. They say it. Yeah. But they say we need to do right by people, but there is no intent to do that. There's intent to do things so they make more money. I hope it's not your kids, the people you deal with. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, sometimes uh, people you close to, by. Yeah. You have to talk to nieces and nephews and. And, and try to talk to him about are you are you really tracking what's happening here do you know who did this and what did that and yeah and it's just, yeah. yeah my niece actually i work with a you know in the space industry yes anyway wow and, uh, my niece came up and uh, said uh uncle james yeah is it true it's what true did we really go to the moon or was it just a hoax and, yeah uh, and I say, no, not you too. You're not buying into that. Yeah. Anyway. No, it's interesting the thing, the Kool-Aid that we can drink, right? Yeah. And it's all dependent on the table you decide to sit at oftentimes, yeah. right? Anyway, Jim, yeah, it was Jim. Joshua. 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 Very okay. nice meeting you. Very nice. And that was episode 13 of What the Bitcoin. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. 13 is actually a very special number to me. So I didn't want anything to get too fangled or crazy in this episode. Just wanted to bring you a subtle interview I had with Jim yesterday evening. That conversation meant a lot to me as we carry into the upcoming week. I'm excited. Um, we've released, this will be the 13th episode of What the Bitcoin, and we're already learning so much as a community, and I'm learning so much myself, just about more than even Bitcoin. Faith, faith forward, in yourself, in God, whatever it may be, I ask that you participate with purpose in this life because we need you, each and every one of us. We're important. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That goes a long way for me and my dog and my family and my friends and my network, and you're a part of that. These are the early stages, guys. There's many more of these episodes to come, and I can't wait for this slow penny to just build, and then potentially one day, you know, you guys can supple in some fast dimes with uh, liquidity on your end that I can allocate to start growing this channel. But for now, I will bring you episode 14 tomorrow. And thank you so much for, again, watching episode 13.